as John said, this is a great day. And it is a day for us to celebrate, to pause, and think about all of the folks who have been part of this great team for a number of years. We've added some new players to the team since this project first got underway. I'm one of the newer players on the team. But I do hope that Dr. Gowan, Governor Janklo, and Senator Daschle are enjoying this day as well. Because it's a day for all of us to enjoy the return on the investment. The investment of so many in this room and across the state and in different parts of the country. The investment of time, the investment of dollars, the investment of sharing ideas with one another and working together and setting aside differences at times to know that there was a common goal that would be good for the community of Leeds, that would be good for Western South Dakota and the entire state, and really our entire country, given the type of research and experiments that are going to be going on at the Deep Underground Science Laboratory. But today is also a time to be looking ahead to tomorrow already, and I think past really does serve as prologue uh, to what lies ahead in terms of the folks that will continue to be involved in making sure that we stay on track and make this laboratory a reality. I think it's passed as prologue in a couple of different ways, certainly for those of us as individuals that care so deeply about moving this project forward here in South Dakota. Again, having worked together so closely, having benefactors like Denny Sanford, who believed in this project and wanted to play an important role, having leaders and the remarkable efforts of Governor Rounds working with the state legislature, working with Dave Snyder and the members of the board and the mayor and people here locally to get us to this point is the same kind of working together that we're going to need and the hard work and the focus and determination as Senator Thune and I rely heavily on Senator Johnson's position on the Appropriations Committee uh, to ensure that we are working with Dr. Lesko and the other scientists and with the governor so that we continue to develop our strategic plan, work the plan, know what each other is doing, to make sure the resources are there for the design of the laboratory, for the design of the experiments, and for the ultimate construction in the next few years of this world-class institution that provides our young people from the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, from Black Hill State University, SDSU, USC, our entire university system, working in partnership with some of the most brilliant individuals across the country and across the world to enhance our body of knowledge. I think it's an opportunity that we have to sit back and think about in the long view because the opportunities it provides are a little bit hard to realize at this point in the short term. But it allows us to know and have a sense of confidence that as we continue to meet the challenges of a world of globalization, that our national economy will continue to maintain its competitive edge because of our knowledge base and the investments that our country has always made in projects like this and the investments that I know Democrats and Republicans alike in Washington will want to continue to make in the Deep Underground Science Laboratory here in Leeds, South Dakota. Congratulations. Again, I want to thank everyone that's been involved, the tremendous leadership. Uh, I did have a chance, you're going to hear from Daryl Schumacher with Senator Johnson's office. I had a chance to talk to, to Tim this morning on the phone. And he is as pleased as we all are. He was thrilled uh, to know that the selection had been made, is excited to get back here to congratulate all of you in person, and is also ready to roll up the sleeves as he has in the past to work with Senator Thune, with Governor Rounds, with me, to do what he did a few years ago, and that's secure necessary resources to keep us on track to make this reality. Thank you very much.